Oh. Ow, what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are uh, here with map two of the Asian division of UGC Highlanders third place match. Uh, definitely cool to see some other uh, world regions and uh, see what they have on uh, offer as their skill level and just, uh, well, exciting gameplay. Uh, reminder, uh, we were watching Alliance Supreme versus Daddy's House. Daddy's House had a very dominant match on Badwater, which was our first map. Uh, just doing a fantastic job of, uh, of uh, defending that first point. Didn't even get a capture there after they had a pretty slick uh, first intro um, offensive round themselves. So uh, right here, uh, Daddy's House is also going to get the initial control here. Uh, let's see uh, some of the players around around the map, see what we got going on here. As uh, Alliance Supreme just trying to set up on this left-hand side. Uh, they had a couple other key players over here. Looks like now they're going to try to come in with a medic gun. They are going to be, uh, or at least were matched up against that Kritzkrieg, but Ellie did go down. So now Vin Vin Nice Pipe uh, on the uh, up-close pyro. And uh, Alliance Supreme, a pretty quick retake here, which is uh, definitely key for these cough matchups. You know, you've got to take uh, advantage of it when you can. You've got to get the capture when you can. And uh, you can't let that clock uh, just keep ticking away. So, uh, oh man, try to switch over uh, to see what Moonbeam could get going on as a pick class. But, uh, well, he gets picked. So uh, there you go. Don't think that's how that's supposed to work. But uh, that's that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, Cal on the other side for Alliance Supreme. Nice headshot there on the heavy uh, as he was just doing uh, a little too much uh, poking and hoping. Uh, now we got the Kritzkrieg ready to go here for uh, Arcadius. Uh, this guy's name Zwit. No, I like that. Uh, Kritz is out here. Maybe a little bit slow to get it rolling here. But that is a nice looking sticky. Gets the demo man, the heavy, and the medic. So that's pretty much what you need right there. Uh, great sticky over the shack and everybody just bundled up. They like got into the corner, but it didn't really matter because uh, that was that was just devastating. Uh, Pat's uh, working this uh, side here a little bit. Uh, sees the scout over here as well. Gonna deal with that. Mad Milk is out. Well, I don't know. Didn't get damage for that or health back for that last uh, kill there. Uh, it looks like U7. Oh no, okay. I thought he hit the uh, flare gun on that spy. Maybe the icicle was in effect. So he hit him, it just uh, killed the flames right away. See the uh, bombing soldier um, trying to get some work done. He actually gets taken out pretty quickly here. But, uh, suspicious heavy as he should be. Got to watch out for those spies. And uh, Blue's going to get a retake here. So even though Daddy's House was able to uh, reestablish their dominance, um, it disappeared pretty quickly. Yeah, it looks like uh, Simi, as his name is pronounced, is on uh, the icicle, spicicle, uh, spicicle icicle. There we go. Maybe that's a better phrase for it. And uh, Daddy's House, though, is in a really good position once again to get the retake here. They need to get some more numbers on the point, though, as really it was just kind of ours here with this black box. Everybody else is just towing around it, but the, the, the clock is still counting, so you can't can't be too long with that. In fact, um, Alliance Supreme getting out here and blocking the capture. So that's definitely going to delay things and uh, you know keep the clock ticking in their favor. And that's what I was talking about. This is huge when it comes to King of the Hill maps. You just really got to uh, get us rocking. They, they couldn't complete that capture. They basically lost you know 40 seconds or just gave away 40 seconds there. Uh, but you know you are to, to put a number on it that number is just getting larger and larger uh, as uh, they maintain a, a supremacy uh, on this point stickies over the top from Vin Vin also I think he picked up a sandwich there um, didn't see it on the ground initially but his health just jumped uh, dramatically could have also been a, a healing arrow I guess and now the uh, capture has finally gone for daddy's house uh, but it's going to be kind of difficult for them to maintain things here. Spy looks like he's going to be able to skirt away. I think that was uh, Spicicle once again. And uh, Vin Vin and company getting right back on top of the point. So they're able to just kind of uh, uh, maintain a pretty good presence around the point. Even when they've lost it, they've still had a lot of players early. Or sorry, up there. Unfortunately, Demo Man uh, gets dropped uh, for uh, Supremacy there. Uh, Alliance Supreme, excuse me. Um, 
the heavy is staying up here, doing great damage on the point. Uh, looking uh, to almost finish that capture. We need to get some players out here to, to do the final work, but most of these players are actually just way away and uh, can't uh, get involved with the fight directly. Setting things up though, so uh, Daddy's House has uh, taken the point here. Are in a pretty good spot. Um, they have a 45% uber charge advantage. That's uh, pretty good. Ellie doing a good job of just spreading the boss around, trying to get as many people up as possible. Looks like their spy was trying to get in and mess with things. Um, meantime, nice flare shot there real quick. Um, Daddy's House has actually, though, lost a couple players here. Uh, just down to a couple of their key, you know, damage class players. Which is, you know, good to have them still alive. But this demo end now is getting isolated and, uh, and turned around. The Uber coming in on the point. Need to get this stopped. This is looking pretty good, though. Getting a lot of frags here. And uh, not many players left for um, Alliance Supreme that can get in here and uh, have an impact on this point. Medics is trying to get involved here. Billy Joe trying to stay on the fight, trying to keep this round alive. But that's going to be it for the first round. So Daddy's win. Uh, Daddy's house. Off to a one-round lead here on Koth Asheville. Bodes well for him, uh, considering they won Badwater. That means that they just... Uh, excuse me, let me find an appropriate player. Uh, that just means they, they just need three more rounds here uh, to take this map and to take this series overall. Of course, we are just fighting for pride here on uh, and, I guess, uh, medals. I believe we're getting medals again for UGC Highlander, uh, which is awesome. Um, their, I don't, you know, fun little thing that Valve does for the community. Definitely appreciate that. UGC makes the medals, not Valve themselves. You see Pat, oh no, unfortunately cannot close the deal on that one-on-one. -on -one. I thought he was going to be able to get that. A spy taken out there uh, by the Pyro. And uh, Daddy's Chrissy uh, staying on the point, just trying to be that meat shield, but he's pretty low on health. Ellie's, uh, like, right, it's right over there. Yeah, it does have the uber charge, so uh, can get uh, that popped as needed. Defense is out here. Good switching, keeping the heavy alive and, and from soaking up much damage, but also flashing the pyro as needed. So uh, Barry doing pretty well there on that pyro roll. Going to have to watch out for that spy lurking around. Oh, no. Punched down. Good pick up by the engineer. So Kevin trying to lurk out here, but uh, it's going to need some support from some of the other damage classes in order to really make something happen. The control point is being contested. Alert. Alliance control Supreme point. looking to get a retake here. 30 seconds was uh, what Danny's uh, daddy's house was able to take off the clock initially, which is a pretty good uh, start to things. Could certainly be better. 40 seconds. It's okay. It's okay. We just need to have a good retake, uh, good retake possibilities here. But right now, they just have Ellie all the way back at spawn, and they've just been throwing players in here. Um, it can work all right. You know, you need that uh, uber charge. Uh, but really, like those players at first, at least one of them, you know, could stay back, get that charge building, and an extra 15%. Um, now that uh, Billy Joe also has the uber charge ready to go, they're going to need to pressure some sort of charge out here from Billy and uh, get him to use this before they're really trying to get their offensive push here. Uh, Cal getting uh, two snipes right there. That's able to uh, definitely kind of open things up quite a bit. Uh, if you get that sniper getting some dominance and uh, killing the opposing sniper, that's a huge boost in Highlander. Right now, though, having problems uh, finishing those frags. Uh, you know, tough shots, but he did have a couple attempts there. Uh, the scout getting taken out. PP is here. Uh, him and Vin Vin, basically the ones that are going to have to mount the defend here. As uh, Kevin's around, but gets taken out. Uh, was pretty low on health. Vin Vin's going to back up. PP just getting thrown around. Didn't have, wow, he actually did get the medic there right at the end. So that turns into a, a pretty nice kill there. Um, uh, a nice pickup as, uh, well, uh, U7 uh, for Alliance Supreme. Uh, doesn't really have a much of a charge, so it's not going to be a big advantage. But still, just getting that frag uh, means that you, know, you don't have those heals going out. And uh, it just can't uh, keep his team healthy, you know. They got to play a little bit more defensively here, at least momentarily, while they're waiting for uh, their heals to come up. Meanwhile, Billy Joe is uh, right with his demo man and Pyro, trying to work their right hand shack side. 
um, and uh, get some pressure on that other side. Definitely need to watch out for people coming over the roof. We see Vin Vin throwing some spam over the top. Heavy not quite involved in this fight yet for Alliance Supreme. Looking to get out there. Vin Vin doing uh, good work all over the place and uh, getting a lot of heals as well. So that's allowing him to just kind of stay right on top of this fight. Haven't been able to get a retake yet, which is definitely a little bit surprised about. Uh, but looks like now finally they're going to be able to complete it and uh, flip that clock one more time. So Alliance Supreme doing a good job getting things rolling here again. Um, and, uh, you know, he's trying to get this round, get some momentum in their way. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now he realizes. It's just like, uh, yeah, you know, I'm just healing this dude. We're just hanging out. Wait a second. Spy is going to get figured out. Uh, the uh, blue spy did get a nice stab on the red demo man, which is going to uh, make things a little bit easier for them. Daddy's house in a tough situation right now. I mean, they are down a couple players. Uh, in terms of their Uber or their Crits Creek, uh, this is a, a nice situation. They got to wait for the spawns to come up here, but if they can come out here and get a really good charge here, they can definitely get the retake. The sticky over the top gets two. The dispenser goes down as well. The medic scatters. Medic's going to have 60% uber charge. Should get the retake here, but it will be really nice for Daddy's House if they could get into the uh, blue area and uh, you know try to uh, do some damage to Alliance Supreme and either force that uber out in a weird situation or uh, you know just get a medic drop before the medic can get it. But uh, Billy Joe actually just stays nice and comfortable over on this left-hand side. No real problems there. They're going to rotate, it looks like, yeah, bringing pretty much everybody over uh, to the uh, different direction. The crits is out, they see it, they're like, oh my god. But uh, good uh, um, good uber flashes keep everybody alive as they walk past that crit sticky trap. And uh, Vin Vin's going to lead the charge here. They lost three three players, now four as Vin Vin goes down. Billy Joel in trouble. The crits is out, the laser beams. And oh man... Salt Supremacy uh, definitely having a little bit of trouble here. Uh, they've got some players on the point. They put some time on the point. Uh, but, you know, uh, Daddy's House is still in control. And uh, they're just really 10 seconds away from taking a uh, second round here. Would put them closer and closer to their goal of winning this matchup. Ellie's going to go down. So that's a big pick as we see Kevin move in here too. Get the heavy weapons guy gets blown back off the point, but he is still trucking 40 health. Oh man, it's just down to Andrew here. He's gonna get taken out. That is a wipe. If I was Kevin, I would eat a sandwich right now. That sounds so delicious. Yeah, eat that sandwich, Kevin. Come on, do it. Do it. No, he's gonna wait for uh Oh, okay. Now he eats the sandwich. Maybe he's waiting for it to reach in. Uh, but there you go. Ellie's uh, looking to charge back in here with this Crits Creek. Uh, looking to have an impact with this, uh, but they only have like 20 seconds to get it going, so not going to have an opportunity to use the charge. Just needs to get on top of the point, get some players out there, and get that capture. They got pretty good force here, as they do have uh, Daddy's Chrissy here. Oh no, but he gets sniped down. Some trouble here. If they can get the overtime, they'll have enough time for a crit streak here. And he finds, uh, he finds Vin Vin. Or sorry, no, uh, sorry, got my player names uh, mixed up. Uh, Acadius, and there you go. Daddy's house takes this second round. So they are within two rounds of taking this whole series. Uh, excuse me. Uh, little, little yawny. Uh, let's check, uh, see what uh, we can get going on here on the rollout here uh, from Acadius. Uh, see if he can get an uh, advantageous uh, push out again here. Uh, he's just kind of resorting to rollers over the top right now as the cap's going to become open here. Assault Supremacy have a... Uh, oh, sorry. Alliance Supreme. I don't know why I keep screwing that name up. Uh, they're having troubles getting out here. They lost a lot of players. Kevin kind of locked behind the door. Capture hasn't gone down yet, though. So uh, they're still doing all right in terms of the uh, time battle, which is, of course, what this King of the Hill is all about. Pat throws out the lucky milk, but gets taken out. Crits Creek hasn't been deployed yet. Just waiting for that perfect time. 
Soldier bombs in, does get the kill on the medic. There's the Uber to follow that up. Maybe just a little like, yay, we did something. Let's Uber immediately. Uh, it did help them get out of that door cleanly, but you know, that demo man was right there. He had popped all of his stickies. Guess they probably didn't know that though, or it's tough to communicate in this uh, frantic moment. But now they're getting cleaned up. Oh man, it is just PP left. And uh, he's uh, well, was back on this side, yeah. but you know, what can you accomplish? as uh, one soldier just jumping into a throng of dudes. So uh, def definitely some difficulties there uh, getting things done. Now, uh, Daddy's house uh, in a pretty nice control of the situation right now. They're gonna get this crits creek definitely earlier than Blue Team can uh, get the uber charge. Let's see if Moonburn, who's uh, kinda had the uh, rough end, no, nope, of the snipe war, I was gonna see. Let's see if he can get the uh, frag this time around. But unfortunately for him, he could not. A little rotation underneath as uh, Red Team Daddy's House looking to back out of this scenario. We're feeling too comfortable about it. Crits uh, pop maybe a little bit early, but they do get the demo, man. I just mean early in the sense they didn't really didn't really seem like they knew where the, the, the opposing team was. They had a hunch they were at that corner. But the medic really wasn't there. And uh, it wasn't really a direct need to use it. It can be really uh, difficult to know when to pull the trigger, though, on this Crits Creek uh, for Highlander, and you certainly just want to use it uh, really often, you know, is the, is the key there. Let's see uh, Vin Vin's perspective here, as Blue is definitely uh, hankering to get in here with this push. Uh, they got the heavy with them. They've lost PP, uh, but, uh, you know, still good point presence right now. Take care of Ares as uh, Ares jumps in uh, to try and get a frag. Vin Vin uh, gonna have to pull off a kill on this demo uh, on this heavy, excuse me, but uh, shouldn't be too bad as uh, had some nice angles there. Chrissy uh, actually retreats uh, behind his own side, gets the health pack over there. And uh, Alliance Supreme now in control of the point, but basically at a two minute disadvantage. See, Chrissy's gotta run back for the health pack. Uh, Aris uh, jumps in. Doesn't uh, accomplish everything he needs to. A little bit of damage, and uh, Alliance Supreme looking to come in here again. With Vin Vin, he's taking a bit of damage. The uh, heavy weapons guy, Kevin, also has been damaged up a little bit. The Metagun is ready to go here. So is the Crits Creek. Crits Creek comes out at the same time, unfortunately. So uh, that's uh, definitely going to hurt his uh, chances. He's just going to run away from the, the uber charge, try to just drop stickies wherever, which is a pretty sound uh, strategy. Actually does pick up U7 somewhere with the crit st uh, sticky. And still working underneath, there's a bunch of players down here and uh, trying to continue the pressure. They don't have control of the point right now, and uh, they lose their medic as well as their heavy weapons guy. So uh, the demo man here behind enemy lines, the soldier just took that pack, so not much he's going to be able to do right away with this. Oh no, they're actually on their side of the map. Get pretty confusing when you have teams underneath. Uh, but he is back on uh, the safe side, so there you go. Billy Joe uh, just kind of parked up. Now that they have control of the point, they can be uh, kind of defensive, that's for sure. Just parked back. Don't really have to worry about too much. Force uh, the red team, Daddy's House, to come in and put the pressure on the point. That's what they're going to do now. Blue does have the Uber Charge ready to go. Looks like they want to use it right away. Yeah, the Medic is getting out there. Getting out front in front of Kevin. Kevin's going to try to round the door here. Should be able to get the Sniper, no problem. And uh, they're in control of the point now. So, uh, Daddy's House now at the time disadvantage. We'll have to get in there and uh, take care of business. They have switched off of uh, Crits Creek 2, Uber Charge. Excuse me. And uh, Demo jumping over the top. Doesn't take too much damage immediately. I was kind of fearing for his life. Was kind of in a, a bad spot. Gets that up close pipe. Definitely is going to need the medic on him. Calls for it and gets the heals. A little bit of spy suspicion there. It's like, who's that sniper? Who are you? Stay away. But uh, indeed, that is actually his own uh, sniper. Yeah, of course, got the uh, uh, caster camera with that plug-in, so it's uh, pretty easy for us to tell the difference. 
daddy's house with that retake here. Gonna have to hold on though for uh, about a minute uh, to uh, take this round. PP gets thrown backwards, has to uh, back out. Meanwhile, players starting to get on the point. Ars tries to get on top of the shack, and uh, Kevin went down. A nice stab uh, by the uh, red stab, uh, red spy. Excuse me. And uh, they're staying uh, strong right now. Daddy's house putting the pressure on, even though uh, Blue has gotten a little bit of time on the point. They're getting big frags here. Kevin's gonna have to be involved in this push if they're gonna uh, turn this around here. But he's pretty far away. Some players are coming in here. PP on the point. They do have the overtime. PP taken out. Kevin coming out with some uber charge. Also the pyro out here. Oh man. It might be able to do this as Ellie's had to back off. And only a few players left for Daddy's house. So good turn of events as uh, Alliance Supreme are able to get this point back from Daddy's house. I wonder if this is the turning point as uh, that would have been a... Oh. oh man, too many yawns. That would have been a 3-0 round advantage for Daddy's house, but now instead we have a two to one score, uh, score, which certainly is a lot more doable uh, for these uh, teams here. Keeping an eye on things, ours uh, starts things off trying to bomb over. A black box will give him uh, 50 health back, uh, so a nice uh, accurate spam there. Cow gets the uh, snipe on the opposing medic. Uh, which definitely is going to help things out. Ours with that double kill right there with that rocket. It's uh, pretty nice. And uh, he's doing a pretty good job just uh, holding down that overwatch and uh, getting the frags out here. Well, curious whether that spy will be able to make something happen there. Oh no, Medic turns around at just the right time. He does get the heavy though. So that's the consolation kill uh, before he gets taken out. That's definitely something though. They know where the combo is as well, so... Uh, perhaps to be able to get some uh, work done in on him. Both me uh, both medics on the medic gun. Uh, well, now uh, Moonburn uh, takes out Cow. Pyro's going to spot things out. Knows that uh, blue team is right on that corner. Gets Vin Vin, the demo man. So that's a pretty nice pick right there. Just waiting for a little bit of heals, it seems. Been getting set up here as Daddy's House uh, still in control of this middle point. Cow with a, a, another snipe. He's been doing pretty good work all day. Gets Moonburn there. And uh, just watching this uh, action unfold. Trying to wait for that Uber Charge to, to drop off so that he can finally do some damage out here again. Spotted that Spy out. And uh, he's taken care of. So <clears throat> Looks like, oh no, Billy Joel just went down there by Moonburn. That's a very nice pick. Now, uh, Kevin, uh, yeah, gonna have to eat that sandwich. I was gonna say, doesn't have the heals, but it looks like he's gonna be able to find that safe spot uh, to, to, you know, kick back, relax, have some lunch, and uh, get his health back up. Ours, a uh, nice rocket over the top, getting that mini crit because of that escape plan. Back on Cal as uh, Daddy's House trying to get some pressure on the point. Cow doesn't really have much to look at right now, so he just takes care of that mini sentry. Definitely going to be a couple players on the point now. Oh, and he stuffs the jump in. Still from that shed, though, you have a really nice angle over the top uh, of that, uh, uh, I guess, 10 coverage uh, to be able to get good damage in there. Wow, close range headshot from Cow. Oh, almost dies to that roller. Uh, was almost in the single digits health. I, I think 12 health left. And uh, Sniper War continues. This time Moonburn getting the kill there. As uh, Barry uh, does a good job of uh, pushing the medic away uh, during that uber charge. Oh, one axe extinguish out. Kevin is so low. 50 health. He's thinking about, yeah, he's going to just eat that sandwich. Sandwich is uh, pretty... Pretty helpful. Pretty effective on that heavy. Uh, definitely kind of helps keep that push rolling and the teams uh, in close. So it uh, looks like uh, S <laughs> Alliance Supreme uh, is uh, going to uh, stay in here and uh, control the point. 
Um, Moonburn maybe can uh, open things up here as uh, Daddy's House starting to push forward here. Uh, but indeed, they do uh, have, uh, sorry, Assault Supreme, do <laughs> Alliance Supreme, do have an Uber Charge advantage here of about 30%. Backstab on, down on Moonburn. And uh, U7, uh, yeah, just kind of lurking around. Checking for Spy. Definitely going to be important to figure out what's going on with him. R's uh, down low. Red needs to find something to open things up here. They're off that crit screen. I, I did like, uh, they had some effective crits. Uh, I liked it. Metagun can certainly be a good choice here. Uber's out on both sides. Demoman just gets the dispenser right now for the red team. They're having a back up here. And uh, having a little trouble doing so. I've, I've bled a couple players in the process. Spy for uh, red, uh, blue team. Very dangerous spot. Oh, gets found out. Caught on fire and uh, taken down. Cow across looking for somebody to snipe. Wow, nice snipe on the pyro. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Cow actually got Ellie there as well. Nicely done. Big snipes there, getting uh, uh, some key uh, picks. And uh, really, that's going to help uh, keep things in uh, blue team's favor here. So Ellie just now starting to get some heals down again. Red team uh, starting to come out here. But uh, Chrissy's still not really fully healed, uh, which is dangerous. Spy was coming in. It didn't really get a pick there. Enough of a distraction, though, to slow things down. Ubercharged uh, used uh, for... Uh, Assault uh, Alliance Supreme here. Oh, the Reflecta comes back. I don't think that actually connected. Good reflexes at least. And a lot of players going down here, so that's going to tie the game up. Um, Daddy's House was just seconds away from taking the scoreline to 3-0. But now we are actually tied up 2-2. Two two. So uh, things uh, twisting around here quite a bit. Vin Vin kind of missed one jump uh, on this rollout. That's all right. Match up with some of his other players. See that uh, sniper dot is out on him. Maybe Cal can uh, take out Moonburn. Yeah, actually, he did right uh, before I switched to him. Then he goes down. Some uh, frags are going on all over the place. Simi got one frag. Uh, now Danny's on to him. He's going to shotgun him down. But Simi still has that uh, quite obnoxious... Uh, dead ringer. Uh, engineer's right on top of him, though. Good comms. They're going to figure that out and take him out. Daddy's house going to take the opening capture here of this uh, fifth round. Look at the scores real quick. Uh, kind of tough to tell the storyline uh, from that. Both spies on the bottom. Uh, both demos on the top for the fragging classes. Uh, not too much uh, differences there. I'm sure if we had the detailed sizzling stats, we could take a peek out uh, real quick right now. That would tell us more of a story, but uh, plenty of action going on here as uh, Daddy's House continues to control uh, the point for the beginning part of this round. Oh, Daddy's Moonburn headshots down. Viggy Bear, the uh, blue spy. Well, Vin Vin following up on ours, doing the damage needed. It's going to round the point here. And uh, Simi gets uh, Billy Joe there. So that's another nice pick. But uh, right now it looks like this point will still flip hands. As uh, while well, Ellie is alive and fairly safe. Not enough players to contest. So maybe we're going to need some picks here to dislodge. Um, Alliance Supreme. Do have an Uber Charge advantage of a pretty good amount. So should be looking to use that in not too long. Looks like there are heavies here on door side. The sticky's good pop, so they won't need the early pop here. Um, heavies decloak or spies decloaked. But uh, they didn't really spot him on that decloak. There's a field of view difference. Uh, we could obviously clear, clearly see it. And we're not using an extra wide field of view. But uh, perhaps that heavy uh, using that tighter in view, that is the default. Uh, 
the wider view is certainly uh, beneficial for seeing things like that, and I would advise it uh, as a heavy weapons guy that you use that wider uh, field of vision. I actually, you know, suggest that for everybody, but uh, personal preference and all that. Cow has his buff, so he was in a sniper battle with a Moonburn. Moonburn um, did have to kind of back up and get some heals. And uh, cow has got a good look too, though, just where everybody's at and what's going on. They know that they're all on that backside. Uh, meantime, though, Moonburn gets a snipe on Ellie Joe. Obviously, we were watching Cal. I just picked up that information from the kill feed. But that is a, a big kill, a big loss. Barry, you're going to take care of that sentry gun. Point flipped over, and Daddy's house gonna have to. Yeah, gonna have to do. Gonna have to do something. I'm not yawning because this match is boring. I swear to God, didn't get as much sleep last night as I needed to. Maybe I'll get a nap before my uh, other casting I have scheduled for tonight. Moonburn with a snipe on uh, Danny. That's the uh, engineer for Blue Team, but Danny's sentry gun's still up, so that was being a hassle. So Danny, no, unfortunately misses that shot on the heavy. Seemed like. Get a good beat on it. Wow, there you go, though. Fully charged. Um, of course, uh, some, some of the aiming looks a little bit weird because of lag and all that. Um, and uh, just STV demos don't capture it accurately. Moonburn, that snipe, though, on uh, Billy Joe. Definitely a uh, very good snipe. And uh, Viggy, notice him kind of lurking around in dead ring. Uh, knew that that might be a problem. And indeed, he comes back and uh, gets the stab. Again, only a few players up here for Daddy's house. So the uh, point is once again in control of L Alliance Supreme. And uh, Bad Aimer staying alive for quite a while down here, but can't get the frag. Picks up the health pack again. Very long scout battle underneath, but Bad Aimer uh, compensates and uh, gets, the, gets the kill there. Big bomb in by uh, Red Demo Man. We're gonna get on top of the point and create a presence here. But if Kevin can come in smoothly at some point, might be able to disrupt it. Looks like that's not gonna happen though, as uh, Kevin kind of lurking behind and just now reconnecting with the medic. Do you have an Uber advantage? And only 22 seconds left on the clock. So, you know, they got that going for him, which is nice. We'll have to get out here soon, though. Can't just spend all day hanging back. Cal's gonna open uh, things up with a snipe on the soldier. The spy is down as well. Now they're gonna use that Uber charge walking out the front door. Uh, I think that's a pretty, pretty good call, pretty safe call, and uh, shouldn't be uh, too big of a problem. Uh, PP, good location to catch out the uh, red demo man. It's a very nice frag. Definitely going to make things a little bit easier there. Still sees the tail end of the cloak, and wow. What a nice series of rockets uh, to get that frag. It's a really smart production uh, pred prediction. Going to come down, too, and get right on top of Ellie. Wow, PP playing uh, pretty fantastic right now, just uh, in the right spot at all the right times. Kevin uh, then uh, obviously hears uh, that ours is coming up that backside from that communication, so... Uh, AS doing a really good job of uh, letting each other know where things are at and that's actually going to take the map so playing a playing a three here uh, because of uh, the uh, best of three format slightly shorter and uh, that's a, a great comeback by AS on that map uh, great stuff uh, really you know back up against the wall uh, but uh, you know able to uh, get those rounds out and come from behind to take that map so we will have another viaduct map uh, Viaduct uh, coming up. Another Koth map is what I meant to say. So that will be our third map coming up. I hope to see you guys there. I'm Eckstein. I will see you next time. Peace out.